Today, I'm going to tell you about one of the most predatory things that new authors will face. I'm going to tell you what it is, how to spot it, and then how you avoid it. And I'm going to tell you all of this from my firsthand experience dealing with a vanity press. You're a struggling author. All you want is to get your work published. You've sent out query letters, been told no a lot, or just straight up not been responded to. That's when you see an ad for a publication. You go to the website. Everything seems legitimate. They talk about how they're a publisher accepting open queries. They only publish the best. You send in your manuscript, fill out the forms. A few weeks later, you get an email. They want to publish you. Oh my fucking God. It's happening. It's really, really happening. You start going through the contract, curious about the terms. What kind of royalty split are they going to give you? Oh, you know, 30% not great, but but hey, it's not terrible either. Keep reading, you, you keep reading, and what's, what's the advance gonna be? $2,000? They're gonna give me $2,000? Oh, wait, no. It's... It's not an advance. It's... They... They want... $2,000 from me for, for editing, marketing, and other services. But, but it's my book they're trying to publish and they want, they want me to pay. This is a vanity publisher and that author was me. It is a true story of how I almost fell victim to what is essentially a cruel and exploitative practice that is completely legal. I'm kind of ashamed to say that at this low point in my writing career, I was almost willing to do it. I actually reached out to my wife and asked her, like, can we afford this? Can we can we do this? I considered it for a couple days. I, I thought about it. I thought about making this decision just to be published. I was so low after querying for about a year that I was willing to do this until I really thought about just how how much it would wreck me financially. I was and still am a paycheck to paycheck person. But in this case, I was like, well, we can go into debt. It, it, it'll pay itself off. That was what I kept trying to tell myself. And I found out the reason why I was telling myself what that was because I was desperately craving a feeling of legitimacy, which is exactly what the vanity press knows. Of the options that were available to me, this was the worst, both professionally and financially. And I figured this out and shortly thereafter, a friend of mine was going through the same thing. They too were contacted by a vanity press. With them, they were contacted directly by a vanity press making it even harder to say no. It took me several weeks of talking to them and trying to convince them that you don't pay to be published, that that's not how the industry works before they finally moved on. Allow me to be your friend now and talk you out of this before it actually happens. So what is a vanity publisher? Well, let's get this out of the way. Yes, they are legitimate businesses. This is not necessarily a scam. It's more just cruel. They are a business who will publish you at your own expense. They have the trappings of a traditional publisher, but they don't actually care if your books sell, and the reasoning why is pretty simple. When you are engaging with any kind of publisher, you are essentially going into a partnership. There is an assumed shared risk. When you're going to a vanity publisher, there's no shared risk. All of the risk is taken by you. If your book succeeds, they will get money. If your book fails, they will also get money. There is no risk to the vanity publisher at all because they are charging you for the very process of publication, which, spoiler, is actually free. It's essentially paying exorbitant fees to self-publish without any of the actual benefits of self-publishing. No autonomy with your books and still giving up massive portions of your royalty to someone who's not going to do anything with it except just take more of your money. As I said, they have no reason to care if your book succeeds because you've already paid them. They are preying on your need for legitimacy. They are preying on the desire for authors all over the place 
wanting to be able to say, I am published. But here's the trick. If you're traditional published, indie published, or self-published, you are also published. You don't need to pay $2,000 to say you're published. For anyone familiar with video games, it's a little bit like paying to win in a game, but not actually winning the game. There are some businesses that sometimes get lumped in with vanity publishers, so I want to make a clear distinction here. Some of those services like BookBaby and Readsy offer services like editing, cover design, marketing, and things like that in some kind of packages. Essentially what these are is they're assistance to you as self-publishers. And one of the key differences here is that they are not marketing themselves as a publisher. They are actually honestly telling you what they are offering. And these services, while pretty expensive and the, the question of whether those are actually worth the cost or not is a different conversation altogether. They're actually telling you, hey, you're paying for this, this, and this. A vanity press, however, masquerades as a publisher. And while yes, they are publishing your book, they're not selling you services. They're not selling you editing. They're selling you pride. So how do you tell what they are? How do you tell you are dealing with a vanity publisher and not something like a book baby? Well, it's pretty easy. If you are contacted by one or you find an ad, you start researching, research the publisher. Just put their name into Google and search that name plus vanity. There will be plenty of forum posts and things like that explaining whether this is an actual vanity publisher or not, because people like me have probably gone through the process. The main way you're going to know is once you're actually in the contract talks with them, because most of these vanity publishers, they don't tell you upfront that you are going to be charged. It's when you get the contract, when you get the sticker shock of, oh wait, they're going to be charging me to publish my book. That's when you see that they're a vanity publisher and people talk about this. People put out that that's what's, what's happening. One thing to point out here beyond the, the difference between places like Book Baby and Readsy is that with like things like independent publishers, there may be no advance. That's that is not a vanity publisher. The lack of an advance is not vanity. It may be something that you consider whether you want to do that or not. And if it works out with the royalty split and everything like that, read your contracts carefully, but it's not a vanity press. The whole process of vanity comes from you are paying for it. So if in the contract you get a big whopping bill for your publication, that's a vanity press. So what should you do when faced with a vanity press? Well, if it's not clear already, run the fuck away. Just run. Run the fuck away. Don't respond to the emails. Just you're done. They're not worth your time. They're not worth your effort. Just run. There are so many better ways to spend your money. If you want to self publish, you can spend that same money that you would be giving to a vanity publisher on editing, on book cover design, on marketing, on classes, all different things that you could spend on yourself that would actually be much more beneficial to you. Hell, spend it on a fucking burrito, because at least if you do that, maybe you'll be more nourished than what these publishers are offering. A vanity publisher is trying to provide you with a fictional sense of belonging. And let me tell you right here and now, you belong, okay? A vanity publisher is not going to prove that you do. If you are writing, if you are putting your heart and soul into it, you belong. If you go through editing process, beta readers and things like that, you belong. A vanity publisher is not needed for that. So just run away. I'll leave you with an important quote from the Science Fiction Writers Association. If you're looking to establish a career as a writer, however, or if you actually want people you don't know to buy and read your books, Vanity publishing is a bad idea. Self-publishing might be a better option for you, and if you want to get started on that, take a look at this video over here as I try and go through some of the positives and negatives of what it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day and run the fuck away from vanity publishers.